Don't let me 
Village life in Bangladesh is so interesting. People are very friendly, soft-spoken, and simple. Kishir Basha, Kishir Basha, Kishir Basha. 
major religions are Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Christianity. 87% of the country's population is Muslim. The rest are Hindu, Buddhist, and Christian. Bangladesh guarantees full freedom of religious and cultural activities for all communities. Social life is marked by harmony and peace. ceremony is almost the same for all religious groups in Bangladesh, except for religious requirements. Usually the relatives of the man and woman arrange the marriage. In many cases, the two never meet each other even before the day of the wedding. However, in modern urban society, the arranged marriage custom is becoming unpopular. It is interesting to notice that neither the bride nor the groom seem to be very worried about the arranged marriage. They both trust the selection of their future bride or husband by their relatives. In a, in a rural village, humble decorations and preparation of a small feast supplement a tin suitcase of gifts and a marriage register. As the bridegroom-to-be, the person in the middle of the couch with wreath, the mullah or priest and others raise hands to God for a rich unison of married life. Musicians make the night gaily festive as a shy bride-to-be is teased and cared for by friends and relatives. Announced by a musical band and reflected by a stream, a marriage procession continues its journey, carrying the bride in a traditional palki. Traditional palki. The bride is inside the palki, and the groom is walking side by side with the palki. In urban areas, a wedding is often celebrated with extraordinary extravagance and a display of pomp and show. family when after spending 23 years growing up at home she leaves her parents for a new home. However, it is a happy moment for the groom's family who accept her as one of their own. The arranged marriage custom is so deeply rooted into Bengali culture that even a Bengali student who has been in the United States for 10 years is adamant to get married in the same traditional fashion as did his brothers and sisters. With the help of his cousin, he makes contact with this woman. He also sends his photos to her. They both like each other from the pictures and decide to meet. They both like each other from the pictures and decide to meet. He learns that his bride-to-be is a good singer and cook. They both meet and like each other in person. 
the groom learns that his bride-to-be is a good singer and cook. He decides to become engaged with her. The guardians from sides approve the engagement of this couple. Pancini, engagement party. Traditionally, when both parties are in agreement, a betrothal, which is locally known as pancini, is arranged at the bride's place. The bride and the close relatives of both bride and groom are usually present in this party. Traditionally, the groom cannot attend the, get the engagement party. But in the case of this couple, the groom is present in the party. At the engagement or pancini party, both bride and groom look very nervous. Imagine, these two never ever really knew each other until yesterday. Now they are going to be engaged tonight. The matchmaker presents the engagement ring to the bride on behalf of the groom. In Bengali culture, the groom can't touch the bride before the actual marriage ceremony. The engagement party is relatively smaller than the wedding party. In this occasion, an auspicious date is fixed for the wedding. Gaya Halud, or turmeric ceremony. The day before the wedding ceremony, there is a festival known as Gaya Halud, or turmeric ceremony. There is a wreath of fresh flowers around the bride's neck. On this occasion, the body of the bride is smeared with pasted turmeric. A red, a red dye called mahindi, squeezed from the henna plant, is used to color the fingers and toes of the bride in attractive designs. <laughs> Everyone on this occasion puts turmeric on the bride's lot or forehead as a symbol of good luck and blessing. also has to go through the same thing. Solemnization of marriage. In most Bengali marriages, the kazi, a marriage register, comes to the wedding ceremony to solemnize the marriage. But in this case, both the bride and groom go to a local mosque for Akt, where their marriage is solemnized. Witnesses and matchmaker are present.
Bibahanistan, wedding ceremony. Among the Bengali families, the marriage ceremony is held in the bride's house. A decorated platform with a colorful canopy above is specially erected for the ceremony. Gorgeously decorated gate with colorful festoons and wreaths hanging on it, and the platform, as well as the route connecting the two, equally adorned, mark the highlight of the festival. The ceremony is generally associated with lively wedding songs in accompaniment of various musical instruments. However, the parents of this bride arrange the wedding party at a local hotel where traditional decorations are missing. In this ceremony, bride and groom sit together Participants greet the couple and bring gifts. The bride wears wedding sari and jewelry. The groom in this wedding is wearing a tuxedo. However, traditionally the groom wears a long white coat, white pajama, and a pagiri on his head, and a wreath of fresh flowers around his neck. Some participants are chatting and having a good time. The bride looks very shy and her head is down. The groom looks mainly relaxed and comfortable. I asked the bride about her shyness in the ceremony. She said, I was asked to be shy, not to smile, not to talk, and always keep my head in a downward position. But I was dying to look around. I asked the groom about his comfortableness in the ceremony, and he said, I guess I was overly happy to be married. Wedding dinners are always a fancy feast. Korma, rice palau, chicken roast, salads, and sweets are usually served in this occasion. The day after the wedding, friends and relatives join the couple. The bride and groom look happy. They spent the last night together for the first time. The friends usually tease the couple about the night spent together. Bobhat, a reception by the groom. The groom gives this reception in honor of the bride. The guests in this occasion are generally the bride and the groom's closest friends and relatives. Here, the bride is wearing a sari, and the groom is wearing a local Punjabi a long shirt, pajama, and a waistcoat. On this occasion, guests usually chat with the bride and groom. Traditional food is also served. Thank you for watching.